and Medellin, I view it as a vice city. So a lot of dudes go there for vices, alcohol, drugs, women. That environment does not really exist anywhere in Mexico. But I just came on to say real quick that I've been kind of, my dream is to debate somebody with this Mexico, Colombia thing. I've been, I've been literally salivating to debate somebody. Um, and, and I respect QB. I've been watching his content for years, his live streams, everything like that. But I think that <clears throat> Mexico, it's a good country. I love Mexico, but I think it's valueless. It has zero value when you compare it to Colombia. Ooh. Okay. Small, In what way? And, and, and I, I, I want, I want to set that up. Uh, QB, me and you in a debate for Colombia versus Mexico. I understand this is your interview, so I don't want to intrude on your interview. Right. Um, well, I, I, I mean, we we can. It, it's up to Jamie if, if you want to talk about Listen, it now. I, I want to uh, see this happen. So go ahead. Yeah. So yeah, go this ahead. you're here. We can talk about it. Yeah. You know, respect. So shoot your shot, player. So tell me what what, what you have. So brother, I, I started mm -hmm. off my uh my travels in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Cancun, uh, Tulum, Valle del Carmen area, all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And I met another passport bro there, and he said, he was like, if you think this is good, man, you should go to Colombia. And I said, right, let me try it out. And so, you know, I went to Medellin. Uh, I lived in Medellin for five years. I'm not sure if you saw my interview with Austin, um, but I lived in Medellin for five years. But I just, I just think um, the weather's better, the food is better, the price is better, and you know, the only thing I thought was like the safety, but Mexico is is, is unsafe as well. I mean, it, it, it has the same danger level that Medellin does. Um, my barber, who's Dominican, he was uh he was in Cancun last week, and um, his boys got got uh, scoped. Um, so they're drugging people in Mexico too. Um, and one more thing, and and, and, and then you can go because I just want to say this: like I know a real dude in Mexico. Um, I think his name is Ron John sixty nine, something like that. Um. But that dude there, he'll tell you the truth. Like, hey, you know, there, there's people getting, you could get robbed, police steal from you and stuff like that. So I, I just think it's it's valueless when you compare it to um, Colombia, you know, Medellin. I don't want to have to hunt and peck for females, my brother. I just want okay. to see a track. So, so, um, so really quick, because you said a lot there. Yeah, my bad. You, no, 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 you're you're cool. I'm just going to respond respectfully. So you were in Playa del Carmen for a vacation or was that the only place you visited Mexico or did you go to other other places as well? No, the only place I visited was those three places that 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 uh tourist area. And, and right. So okay. So one Quitana Road. So that's Playa del Carmen, Cancun, and we'll throw in Tulum. Beautiful beach, great food, nightlife for the most part, people are going to be safe. Now, that is a very tourist heavy area. Now, can people live there? Yes, expats live there. But from Quitana Row and then comparing it to like a Medellin is really different night and day. Okay. Now, in Medellin, I view it as a vice city. So, a lot of dudes go there for vices, alcohol, drugs, women. That environment does not really exist anywhere in Mexico, Playa del Carmen, Cancun, especially. So weather, yeah, the weather is more spring-like in Medellin compared to Quitana Row because it's South Florida, basically 2.0. Um, women, Hey, you have your preference, but a lot of guys that love Medellin, they're participating with the play, play for play situation down there. Um, I'm not saying that you're doing it. Maybe you are doing it, but if that's your preference, again, yeah, I can see why guys choose Colombia over Mexico. So, so, so my thing is this though, brother, mm -hmm. is, um, I, I I guess my question to you is what would make me want to um, visit Mexico, be an expat in Mexico? 
when mm -hmm. I can get something better, cheaper, faster in Colombia. I don't even I don't even see the point. Like, why would I want to hunt and peck, you know, for attractive females? And I've been I've been having you, you, you don't you don't have to hunt and peck. I well, mean, I, I go to places one second. I go to places throughout Mexico and I get the best treatment. OK, now, one thing I would say in Mexico compared to Colombia, because there's no black men in Mexico, really, and especially when you go into the interior places that are not uh, tourist heavy, the women will damn near cold approach you and smile and give you the black Jesus stare. That's what I get. Okay. Now in Colombia, I don't hear guys saying that. What I hear guys is like, man, you know what? It's thirty dollars to have a girl to yourself that's a seven or eight than actually go on a date. So again, if you like that culture, yes, Colombia would be better. But for me, stuff like that, you know, it gets played out over time and I like wholesome, genuine desire. So 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 I, I don't understand. What I don't understand is this: is you're saying um, Colombia is better for pay to play, right? Yes. Th than Mexico, okay. But what I'm saying is, overall, women, pay to play, regular women, just women in general, are you saying that there's more attractive females in Mexico versus than Colombia? Because I mean, I, I well, don't even it, think you believe that, right? right. It, it depends <laughs> on. Hold on. It depends on the city. Right. So, I was saying Guadalajara is on par with Medellin in terms of quality of girls. Now, a place like Oaxaca, what I mentioned earlier in the stream, yeah, they're very indigenous and they're not, you know, attracted to my skill. But in terms of beautiful women, there's not a shortage of that anywhere in Mexico for the most part. Because I'm, brother, I'm trying to think and I'm like, yo, Mm -hmm. I just I don't have no reason to go to Mexico. Like, why would I go? Like, okay. it's good for you as as Westernized women. It's it's the the the, the dollar. That that, that, that is not your. But, but that is. Not go ahead. Strong, like, what what would have? And I've been having to force myself. Like, I gotta go to Guadalajara. I gotta go. I gotta go. But it's like there's so many other better places, man. You got um Brazil right there, which is my number one. You got Argentina, mm -hmm. and it's like why, another why, play for play place. Why the hell? You're, 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 why the hell would I go backwards, brother? Like, I don't right. understand. So, but, uh, again... I'm just trying to see, where, why would I go? Right. So, one thing that I can say about Medellin... Okay, the lights again. Uh, you can still see me, though. But yeah, one I, thing I, I, I can... I can see you. Right, right. One thing that I can say about Medellin is, hey, the weather is really good. Besides the women and obviously the vices, the weather is really good. In Mexico, you have beautiful beaches, the food is great, you have a lot of recreational activities, zip lining, um, jet skiing, you, you can ride ATVs, there's a lot of museums, there's a lot of culture there. That's endless in Mexico. You don't have to worry about going out on a date with a girl that can possibly drug you or can possibly, you know, request money. All right. Now, I don't know where you're from here in the States, but guys that really love Medellin specifically, they're very street savvy. They love that grimy type of environment. And that's not me. You know, I'm from the suburbs. I'm not a hood brother. All right. I, I like structure and I find that in Mexico. So, yes, there are more things besides women in Mexico that guys can partake in. As I mentioned, I'm not seeing content, okay, from guys exploring Colombia compared to how I explore Mexico. I don't know about all these landmarks and different, you know, activities to do in Medellin. You Google right now or you YouTube search Passport Bro in Medellin, you're just going to see a bunch of street girls. Yep. So, so again, if you if you love that. That's your environment where you can get a baddie for under 50. Hey, then, you know, Medellin's the place to be. And you have no reason to go to Mexico. Yeah, I, I was, I was, um, I guess I was mm -hmm. more, more excited about this interview than I thought I was going because, you know, um, there's really nothing else to talk about. You already said, hey, man, the hotter females are in, in, in Colombia, Medellin, you know, which was my whole, my whole, um, center point. 
You know, okay, not, right. Oh, and, and, and the thing is, right. So I want to attract the female. Other than right. that, in New York. You know, what the hell? Right. Like, I, well, not leave New York. Right. So but if you like to access, right, if you like to access beautiful women, as you like probably like to do in Medellin, yes, Medellin is a better place and you have no reason to go to Mexico. But again, I think it's very important for guys to put a disclaimer and say that, hey, partaking in, in this lifestyle, there are a lot of issues that are associated with that. You know, women constantly asking you for money, um, you know, girls. Um, now, are you saying that um, mm -hmm. you can't get an organic relationship in Colombia or Medellin? It's very difficult in Medellin. I'm not saying that anything is impossible, but there's really nobody. I know only a couple of guys that have something organic specifically in Medellin. Because mm -hmm. I would say, hey, it's better organic in Mexico, 100%. Right. right. So but, it, it, again, I'm, I'm not it, it, I'm not it, it, knocking it, 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 what you what you're doing. By all means, I'm not knocking what you're doing, but you also have an audience of passport bros that are saying, look, I don't want to do this anymore. And I was one of those guys, all right? I had the time of my life in Medellin. I did a girl on the balcony and missed my flight, and it was amazing, okay? But when, when you're out of sight, out of mind, that's it. You know, those girls don't really care about having something long term. And hey, you know, they'll sleep with Larry that's fresh out the airplane, 350 pounds, you know, wearing Yeezys. You know, he, he got her necks and taking the videos and popping bottles and doing whatever else with her, you know? Yeah, I, I think you're mixing two things up together, bro. Um, because there, there's boom, which one has the most attractive female Colombia? And then you talk about sugar sugar dating and p2p thing all this other stuff which that's up to guys if they want to do it uh colombia mexico okay uh, if you Europe, go to Gua if if, if quality is an issue really quick if quality is an issue for you okay you go to guadalajara and then if you go to tijuana you will be blown out your mind in regards to quality and beautiful mexican women just on your spare time go look up hong kong tijuana Mm -hmm. You're gonna be like, oh my goodness! All right, and if you like organic, Guadalajara, Mexico, it's but, on par with Medellin. But my bro, before I take off, right? You can see mm -hmm. Colombia has more. More. I just want to make that clear. Right. Well, again, it's it's your <laughs> preference. It, it's it's your preference. I like for for me again. I've been to three places. I've been to Medellin. I've been to Santa Marta, and I've been to Barranquilla. The brothers that I've seen girls with organic women, they they were, I, I would say, mediocre at best. Most of them were pretty subpar. Okay. Now, the pros, yes, very, very beautiful. All right. But again, if I got to pay, I don't need to really do that in Colombia when, you know, Mexico's right there. So... My point of my argument is the women that I saw there are the same type of women that you can get in Mexico. And the only exception that I'm going to put is probably going to be the Morenas and, you know, the Negras. Colombia definitely has that better than Mexico. But if, if we're talking white mestizo, I'm, I'm going to have to give it to Mexico, bro. The next question, she out. Look at me, but she's going to be. Call me Vicky T. I feel I feel like a dog. I can't have the free. Keep it be. Never leave the truth. What you need to